That is why I'm not allowed at a cheese anymore. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the 210 Culture Podcast 2.0. I am G. I'm Donna. Um, Phil Hector. <laughs> you having to climb the fucking table? <laughs> and today, our special guest. <laughs> oh shit! You know, how, you know how much harder this is when I can't hear because it because of the title <laughs> coming after y'all. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm almost slipping my mind today. Um, so podcast palooza. This is the last week. So we have after two tequila shots. Yes, yes, I got it right. Hey, with zero tequila shots. Yeah, I'm really bad with names. Yes, I know. Um, so introduce yourself. To yeah. Here that- uh, I'm Rooster Martinez. I am a podcaster with After Two Tequila Shots. Uh, I'm also a writer, a performing poet, and professor at Palo Alto yeah. College. That is yeah, so yeah. cool. Thank you. Not just after two tequila shots. He was. Oh, and then the other movie one, too. There's a movie one called I'm on Underrated Underrated Favorites, which is a movie. Like, it's not like we go after not cult movies, but more Uh like Tremors. Or, you know, those movies that aren't like elite. But it's like we got to talk about, you know what I mean? Uh, What we do? Like Accepted and what? I don't remember. Attack the Block. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So we do that. We do those, too. Uh, yeah, except yeah, except <laughs> that's, that's a great movie. That's where that whole meme came from. And then uh, this is the producer slash co-host of After Two Tequila Shots. My name is Chibi. I'm a poet. <laughs> I'm a poet, former <laughs> publisher, producer, and community organizer. I produce wow. After Two Tequila Shots, underrated favorites, and another one that's coming back, maybe in November, maybe in January, called Words and Shit. Okay. Uh, and it's a poetry podcast. How where, the fuck do y'all do it? Uh, like I could barely handle one, like right now, like this one. I I'm just, already like, oh shit. Oh yeah, no, I just stay busy. It's great, and then yeah, like it just keeps going, keeps going, and then I, I'm one of those people who like when I'm not busy, I get freaked out. Mm-hmm. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm right. like, I'm like, what like the you fuck? You feel some kind of guilt, like you're like, I need yeah, to get like I don't know. It's right like now. my dad's just military, like drilling, drilling that shit. Like, right. what yeah. are you doing? Why you stay? Why you still in bed <laughs> at ten thirty? It's like it's Saturday. Like, and no. then I think we also have this kind of like relationship where we're like. One of us will get an idea, and the other one's like, "I mean, sure, let's yeah, do it." Right. Like, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. So you said you still look like homeless dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I give you the roommate. <laughs> no shit. So let's uh, pay some bills real quick and get this out the way. So um, if you want to be a sponsor on the show, we do have um, spots open as well. So um, hit us up for that, and. Um, First off, welcome. To, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I'm up with. Yes. And you so, haven't even taken any shots. I know. So first off, shout out to TBC. Uh, Steve, get well. He had COVID the last week, so he's been chilling at home. Yeah, he got the Rona. Yes. Mm. So shout out to Steve. Um, he just dropped a new logo as well. So be on the lookout for that merch dropping pretty soon. Uh, shout out to Military City Heating and Air Conditioning. I think I got that backwards. But um, Albert over there keeping you cool in this nice hot day because it is hot. Mm. So reach out now if your uh, AC is going, it probably shouldn't be making that noise. Um, so he'll check that out for you. Let him know 210 Culture sent you, and I think you still get 10% off. Um, Bar 321, the official unofficial after party of the 210 Culture podcast. I thought Hector's going to do a shout out like always. No? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's only where Hector does his shout out. So I was like, all right. Um, and then, of course, Eddie Taco House, our morning spot to get breakfast before the show. Shit, yeah. I had them yesterday. So Damn, with, you see, we I sent y'all there. We <laughs> sent y'all there. Oh, uh, like I, it just, I go with whatever the day is feeling. Like it's usually, I gotta get a potato and egg because it's like it. It, I've been drinking the night before, so it kind of settles things down. Oh, okay. uh, being oh. in bacon is kind of like, ooh, let me chill. Mm. Uh, barbacoa, obviously. Uh, chorizo con huevo. Get some carne guisada. Like they're just amazing. What about bean and chorizo? Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. I can't eat my beans without chorizo now. Like I gotta. Mm-hmm. I need the schmeats. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Eddie Saco House. <laughs> Shout out to Eddie Saco House. So now that the bills are paid, back to the show. No? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Wow, y'all, 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 y'all were really, really talking to me before the show. Now y'all, now my co-host don't want to be co-host. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so, right. so modest. All right, so I'm just gonna ready to jump into it now, just because I've already had this hyped up right before the show. So for those who followed the TikTok rabbit hole like I did, um, there's an artist, uh, author out called Quentin Miller, Quan Mil- Mills, who does uh, cereal. Uh, he does, I guess, hood that's, books. That's it's the best way. <laughs> hood, hood books. Hood smut. Yeah, yeah hood smut, smut. I guess. Uh, smut man. So I'm gonna jump on Amazon right now. I'm gonna read the titles, and everyone here has to decide: Would you read that? Yes Say or no? Name. Yes. <laughs> so the first one, it's one of my personal mm-hmm. favorites, because I actually heard a snippet of it. Is this hoe got roaches in her crib? I've lived that. Yay. I don't want to read that. Yeah. I'm good. I would read it. Felicia, if you're still out there, I hate you. <laughs> and your roaches. Felicia, I still love you. Come back, mom. <laughs> so my boyfriend, Nate, is here your in the background. Too. He's saying nay. No, he would not no, read but that. My question is, is it is it the big roaches or like the little baby Dude, roaches? The or the flying fun. ones? I'm okay with the, the little baby ones. Yeah, when there's flying ones, I'm fucking out. It's out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's out. Yeah, I want a little synopsis of that book. Sure. <laughs> okay. So it says, Austin Walk. <laughs> Watkins, 35 and a single father, finds himself in a precarious situation, currently locked up in Chicago's Cook County Jail. Nope. He knows that Fred Quisha, the trifling mother I'm sorry, of what was the name? <laughs> Fred Quisha. And wait, 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 Fred back up. Quisha. He's 35, single father, yeah. out of jail. Got it. Okay. No, he's in jail. Like the, yeah. he's, he's, he's still in jail. Okay. Yeah. So how does he get into the chick with like, the roaches? The, the kids in there with the jail, too. Like, like, he's got to work right? on his appeal Who's first. <laughs> It says the trifling mother of his only daughter is, uh-huh. a, dis- is a despicable, careless, reckless thought mm. who is uh, the antithesis of caring, loving black motherhood, wanting to see her son gain full redemption from his current situation. Dolores Watkins, better known as Mrs. Watkins, is also hellbent on rescuing Austin's six year old daughter, Maya, M Y Y A, from the clutches of the relentless psychological, emotional, and physical abuse she suffers at the hands of Fred Quisha. And I'll stop there because there's like a whole I lot. I love Fred like, Quisha. What city does this that mean? Chicago. Oh, okay. Because he's in okay. Chicago jail. Oh, that's insane. Leon Valley. Yeah, right. There's going to be a, there's gonna be a Showtime, you know, like series about what this. What if there is a Lifetime <laughs> movie already about this? Oh. See, I'd watch that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm not reading the book. <laughs> No. All right. <laughs> oh, it would be a great Christmas movie. Really he comes out of jail right on the twenty fifth. Yes, and then she would, like yeah. he, he like, like grabs years, the right? president. It's a fucking the hoes of Christmas past <laughs> come back. The whole, Bro, the whole t- thing takes place in the seven days between Christmas and New Year's. Yes. And on New Year's, they get back together, <laughs> and like the it's sun, a whole, yes. it's a whole so love actually right, moment. Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, Okay. All right, what's the next time? Next hey. one. Next one is actually the first one that caught my attention to look up this yeah. guy to begin with. Because it was just random. So it's called Pastor Seat Pussy 2. They apparently, better. apparently there was a Pastor Seat Pussy 1, but part two was the one that popped up on my TikTok. Feed. So part, part in part in part one, he doesn't eat pussy. He almost, but he learned he realizes that he should have. Oh no. And that's why part two went was, down. Because he realizes it's the best thing ever. I was gonna get real fucked up with it, but I'm just not going there. Y'all, no, y'all, go there with it. Like, fuck hey, it. Hey, <laughs> the blood of Christ. Okay, I'm just saying, you move from kids to pussy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> If yeah, this is why it's pastors. How priests. can you how can you be the pastor and lead a flock and you not eat pussy? Yeah. Like y'all want you... the synopsis on this? No, nah, we good. Just keep moving. I got it. We're good. Yeah. Okay. What, what's the next title? All right. Okay. Next title we have. Which is the second one I saw that made me laugh because the album, the book cover is stupid. Old thought next door. Old thought next door. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely read yeah, that. I got okay. shout out to the old thoughts next door, y'all. So I'm not gonna oh, go. you know I have, some in real life? I, there's a I, yeah, I they're great. Your <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a personal story for you, though. Okay. okay. No, they make they make wait, the world wait, wait, a better wait, wait, place. Wait, wait, wait. So back around '97. Shout out to Barbara Lowe. Fuck, I was like five. Um, she used to actually be the sheriff of the county. Mm. So she was 63 and I was 26. 63 and you were 26? Yeah. Now, how did you meet? Was it like a like she caught you doing some wrong shit situation? No, she was my neighbor. Oh, okay. Old thought next door. Okay. <laughs> the old thought next door. Uh, 
Hey. Hector, I'm not surprised that you lived a lot of these titles. I actually me. wrote that song for, um, what's his name? Bart Brooks? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> the Summer? Friends Miss in Low Officer. Places. Oh, Lil Wayne. Mrs. Yes. Officer. Like, <laughs> so, I'm just going to read some bullet points out of the synopsis because I think it's funny. So, her name is Vernita Ernestine Washington. Yeah. She's a feisty 76 year old woman. Oh, mm. close. There you go. Uh, she says, yeah, yeah. Age ain't nothing but a number. Ooh. She's convinced that the honeycomb between her legs doesn't taste a day old, older than 40. It's a good year. It's a good year. Don't let the gray hairs fool you now. Like down there? Yeah. Like that. She ain't got that. No, she's no. bald. <laughs> she's lying. She's not. Reality sets in when she realizes oh, wait, her she time on Earth is out coming 70s. close. And his face yeah, was a bull bush. His face was a death bush. sentence. So I'm now she's living it. out her days, remaining days, being the biggest old super freak, and gets her mojo back and starts beginning her life. Go get, get yours. Get yeah. her <laughs> but yeah. a major, this a major story was about you. Wow. Yeah. But a major wow. surprising twist will throw her life into more unpredictable chaos. I'm assuming she gets pregnant. Oh, I'm just gonna say, oh no, 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 she falls in love, she fa yeah, and then it's another Christmas movie. She falls for one of her hookups, and yes, yeah. and it's played by Julia Roberts. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Oh, I love it. Susan Sarandon, yeah. that's the one. All right, so next one, we're still going with shit. Right, last, one, last one, last right, one. Okay, yeah. last one, and let me pick a good one. Last one, let me pick okay. the good one. Come um, on, still mad at the pastor, though. He better be. <laughs> Look, this this is this is why Christian the denominations yum, yum, don't yum, have yum, the, the Catholic denomination. Right. Okay, because right. pastors be eating pussy. So last one, <laughs> pregnant by my mother's gay husband. Yeah, yeah. That's just messy, and I'm I want to see that. Movie. That's an episode. Yo, fuck that, yeah. I'm I pretty sure that was that movie. I'm pretty sure that was an episode of Maury. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least twice. At least. <laughs> All right. So, and what was the name of the author again? Yeah, that the synopsis is a little all over. Uh, it Quinn. is Quan Miller. Quan Millers. Okay. Or Quan Mills. I'm sorry. Quan Mills. General well, Mills. I hope you sell a lot of books. <laughs> you have found your niche in the literary market, and you oh, are crushing it, my sure. guy. And yeah. if you want to actually hear some of the actual snippets, you can actually go to his TikTok where he actually reads the book. Audio audio book uh, versions of those is crazy. Yes. Like imagine like you're at like a red light. I would I would love for it to be read by like the whitest person ever. Oh my. <laughs> No, like, like trying to read it. Yeah, yeah, that would be that great. Would be funny. And then Lamont said, <laughs> "Lamont, please, <said, laughs> Oh hell no, nah, I'm gonna bust the cap in y'all. Right, it'd be a whole ass mess. Oh no. And this was Becky Johnson reading. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Duh. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So for people who don't know, what is after two tequila shots podcast about? So the whole thing's I like. I've been talking to Rooster for a while now to be like, we need to do a podcast because like, we'll just get together. We're friends. We get together. We have drinks and we're having conversations. And it's yeah. like, why are we not recording this yeah. shit? Oh my this gosh, is good yeah. conversation. Yeah. And so one night, uh, six months ago, I was drunk and I just texted him. I was like, come over tomorrow. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> Period. And I didn't have nothing to do. So I was like, yeah, all right, fuck it. We're gonna and, we're, and we're drinking? And we're drinking. Like, you know, uh, and like, Little backstory, I'd gotten a grant from the city of San Antonio to uh -huh. like, you know, do artistic shit. So yeah. I turned my office in my house into a recording studio because oh, we're doing like spoken dope. word albums and things like that. Yeah. So I'm like, I already have the studio. We're doing a fucking podcast and I I, I drink a lot. That's awesome. <laughs> On both. Yeah. So like, <laughs> and so we mostly just talk about like current events, uh, local shit, uh, Texas shit, uh, Mexicano shit, you know, uh, and just and then just gradually get more and more drunk. Yeah. And then our we, our opinions get way more loose, and just, that's about yeah. it. And it just goes. I mean, we we take two tequila said. shots first, yeah. and then we hit record. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the episode, we usually end up finishing the bottle. And so, by like, if you get to the end of our episodes, like it's sometimes just it's a, a bit messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like it's so fine. we didn't love actually messy. end. We don't end the episode. We just walk off and keep talking, and the camera they're still rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we try to keep it structured, so we go in like with an agenda, so that we don't like get lost in it, yeah. and then like the episode becomes like a three and a half hour episode yes but um yeah it's good time. it's it's an opinions podcast because we realize halfway through it's like shit we're just talking out of our ass sometimes like, yeah 
and like sometimes we didn't have the whole news story. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just our opinions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Nice. And you said you guys have been doing it for six months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just kind of got it going. We did like twenty six episodes, and then uh like the semester starting for me and then chibi's doing a whole bunch of stuff so we're like all right let's take a little break and then we'll come back like in a couple months and do it again yeah, yeah exactly. so is there a criteria for guests not really people we usually have our friends <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah, i yeah. can so, come on yeah for sure oh, like, yeah God, you gotta take a shot that. but like that's so oh, i'll take i'll take on? more than yeah two, two shots i'll take more than two yeah when we come back we'll, we'll invite y'all yeah sure. Sure. so yeah we just take Don't a look at like what happened this week all right let's talk about it and usually it's just like him and I sending each other stuff on Instagram, being like, for yeah. the pod, for the pod, for the yeah. pod. And it's like articles that were seen and shit like yeah. that. So movies that came out, bullshit that Greg Abbott is getting into. Oh, you know, my God. Like, Captain Hot Wheels. Fuck Hot Wheels. <laughs> Captain Hot Wheels. <laughs> right. He's a piece of so, shit. If Dill Greg would get off his ass, we wouldn't have to be conservative. <laughs> fucking light. I'm saying, okay, so like I'm that would be something we would talk about. Like, like the, the, ERCOT, the ERCOT, the ERCOT, no, like the ERCOT, like messages yes. that we're getting. Like, what, this is day four? That we've been getting them like conserve what energy. The key I don't to give that a fuck is just anymore. live by the hospital. And you don't got to worry about it. No, see, it's I live by a fire station and same oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to turn the power off of the people dying in the hospital. I, so, I, I, yeah. Schools yeah, I live in the medical center. So, but like, yeah. remember, oh, we lived was down a school. February so yeah. 2021. That's when we had the freeze yeah. and everything got fucked up for like a fucked week. Up. People died. It was yeah. a bad time. Not in the medical center. And they still have not. Fixed shit. Yeah. They haven't fixed it. And now it, the nothing. heat is a problem. But, like but not, winter's a problem. But you can buy an AK now. Oh, but uh -huh. yes, they're we increasing AK our shit. ID. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. But my thing is like, why, why are they asking like us, right, to right. turn the power down? Why yeah. are we asking the AT and T center to turn the fucking right. power Thank down? Thank you. Why are we asking the Freeman Coliseum to turn the motherfucking? Because yeah. it's hot in there for me to see group of I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are the real fucking energy suckers. So, like, so I, I travel a lot. I drive a lot. So my thing is, I see a lot. You're of part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Burning that Your carbon fuel. footprint is huge. That fossil fuel. <laughs> it's, it's like fucking brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> but I see a lot of solar panels, a lot of, of the, the wind, the yeah, whatever yeah. shit. They're big old fucking ceiling fans. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> why don't they? Windmill cancer. Right. No, no. Why can't they garner that shit? You know what I mean? No, no they're yeah. doing it. It's a lot. It's just political. They're, it, it's political and it's mm -hmm. money and it's not like their money they're like fuck off that's true yeah. and and, and ERCOT is just so weird to me because it's like we've also had like 48 days straight of like 105 110 degree temperature and then they tell us like hey you know what Calm they down want on us the to AC. put the fucking thermostat at like 82 degrees yeah. i'm like yeah. what the fuck is your problem and it'll still be running all fucking yeah. day yeah. Yeah. like that's the wild shit is like I, I put it up and it's so still running about, all day so how about you just drop the price down and then i'll pay you still pay you Hell yeah. no. <laughs> no they uh, fucking increase our fucking prices on so, top of that uh, yeah. well that's why mine and my husband's uh plan is to just build our own fucking commune somewhere mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere there you have go our own power grid. some walking dead we, kind of we, we don't have to like well why do you think why you, have you seen the new commercials for the, the electric <laughs> ford truck that supposedly oh, your power yeah, goes yeah. out you can hit flip the switch and it'll power from the truck to power your house and, the other way and i'm part of the problem <laughs> you don't have an electric car fool you're fucking right i don't <laughs> <laughs> uh eric uh jumped it in the comments he says hello guys he says don't get me started hi eric with, with politics it's going to be important to vote for the constitutional <laughs> amendments coming up in november it's true it's, it's, I mean, it's true, but we still got to do everything that we can. You're right. You know, Hector's over the, for people that I, are listening. I, I'm, a, I'm a big realist. I, I, I know that if, if voting really mattered, they wouldn't allow us to do it. Well, did he win say rock Ooh. the vote? I mean, but matter. that's why they're trying to not allow mm. us to do it. Right. Because it does matter. Right. right. So this no, is the no, thing no, with I Texas. Agree, yeah. Don't let me get on this fucking soapbox. <laughs> oh my God, no, let's go. Let's go. This is the thing with Texas. I just want to say Texas me. is not a red state. That's true. Texas it's is not. a non-voting state. That's, that's the true. problem. More than half go, of the population yeah. doesn't vote in this in this state, and that's why. Last week we had that conversation with our guests. Eric. Right. Half the of them thing. are scared to get deported. No one, no one, no. One, no, no, no these are another, people that no, yeah, are, like actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking I'm about people that are eligible to vote. Okay, I've done. Who the, can I've, register? Yeah, I've yeah. gone down the rabbit hole. Yeah, I've done the math. It's like we could easily flip this fucking state if people just registered to vote and actually turned out. But they right. don't. Or, so the or turn out are the fucking Republicans. Well, yeah, well, so. or if you just split Texas up for as big of a state it is into like five mini states, that would you. still have. Well, but would still have <laughs> one. We would still have bigger populations in like North Dakota and South Dakota combined. What? So why the fuck there's two of them? I don't know. So <laughs> larger than the population of Idaho, yeah. and yet 
out of like, let's say we turn it into five states, three of them would be blue. Yeah. But the way that it's set up right now, it's like, it does make voting seem ineffectual. And like, I totally get it. But it's also, this is what I always say is like, cause I was anti-voting for a long fucking time until like what he was saying, when I started to feel more and more like they really don't want you to vote. And there, and that makes me feel weird. Like if you tell me I can't do something and then try to like make it harder for me to do something, it's like, that makes me think you're trying to scam some shit. Mm -hmm. So it, since I can just do it, I just take the time to go fucking do it out of my day, go to Las Palmas fucking library and do it. And All I'm right. gonna fucking do it. Crossroads mall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crossroads like uh, Eric Roosevelt. Yeah. 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 It's they stuck in 1994. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I it was a house. It's, no, it is a haunted <laughs> house. It is. Crossroads Mall is a haunted house. house. Slash, like, fucking flea market. Slash, there are like, still mall. probably dead bodies from the 80s so, in there. Eric, yes. Ooh. So, Eric yeah, yeah, said, we don't need sure. to flip the state. Going blue won't help either. Ooh. I mean, that's cool. Like, again, I, 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 even, even, even still, flipping isn't, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Flipping I, and, and sort of making it like a either or situation, I think is the problem. Yes. Like, it doesn't have to the be problem. that. <laughs> like it has to be sort of collective. What can we agree on? From what like, I, from what I, I'm gonna really quick about mm -hmm. from what I no, no, you're good. And I've seen lately it's been like gotten over and matured a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's like if you vote for your candidate and your candidate gets in, hey, everything's hunky dory. We're gonna do what we said. But then they get there and the opposition's like, nope, you're not gonna be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So then when you you vote again. This time your candidate doesn't get in. Oh, yeah. And then the other guy gets in and then they're like, okay, now we're going to do all we want to do. And the other side, your candidate side, it's like, nope, nope, we're not going to do it. Yep. So well, it's, a, it's a stalemate. Mm -hmm. So we're back where we started. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just, just like, mm -hmm. it kind of it disenfranchises a lot yeah, of the yeah. voters where it's like, why totally. does it matter? Why even bother? Yeah. yeah. And it's because the system is the problem where we have a two party system. Exactly. Right? You know, if we had Absolutely. four or five parties. So you get like a lot of libertarians and independents. And like those like fans yeah. are just like drunk. So that's, <laughs> one one. that's just a crazy, <laughs> oh, okay, just a crazy lady. <laughs> And over there is where I get the day old chips. Oh. And over there is a crazy lady. Welcome to South Town. Because no, if I was drunk at the bar and I walked by and saw like a whole podcast situation, I'd be like, what the fuck? I know. It's like yeah, walking past an aquarium or some shit. I'm going to tap the glass. Yeah. 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 Like wearing OCS. Yeah. 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 And then you're like, oh, look, they're having so much fun. <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'm going to hit some yeah. buttons. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same shit. Like, when we elect the president, right, he doesn't really make the decisions. Ultimately, no. it's mm -hmm. a fucking cabinet. Issue. Yeah, it's a yeah. whole convoluted system. <clears throat> and but, we're in that situation where, like, I have this in, like, one of my poems. It's like, I'm having tired of being told to choose between the belt or the switch. Right. Right? Neither of them are good. Yeah. But one is maybe less bad than yeah. the other? I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> So would but, you guys associate yourselves with a political party or is nah, it just no, kind of who no. y'all No, I mean, populism. I mean, like people, the people. Easy like, 2024. Yeah, you got to you got to do you got to do what's right for the people. And then, and yeah. and I understand that like in San Antonio, we have way different like uh, needs and, and mm -hmm. things that are important that we have to fix it, like not just now, but for the future, than like another state or another county or another part of Texas. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, you have to be open no matter where you're at and and, and what the what right, the needs yeah. of the people are uh, i mean there's rural rural areas in the middle of this country that like have lack of education have lack of uh, internet and technological support lack of opportunities the same way we do on the west side and i feel for them the like it's the same shit. like i don't care that it's like white people well, in the middle that's of the problem Oklahoma. here is that there is a lack of education but because of close-mindedness you know what i mean we mm -hmm. have resources to be able to get information Mm -hmm. It's just they don't want to fucking do it mm -hmm. because yeah. they're stuck in their fucking ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are great resources out there, especially here in San Antonio. Shout out to CC that works a lot with the youth here yeah. in San Antonio. Next level. Next level. Gemini Inc. that does a lot for literacy. Like yeah. there's a lot of stuff out there. But yeah, you just got to. What sucks about San Antonio is that it sucks about getting the word out. Mm. Yeah. You know, you always find out about something <laughs> after it happened. Yes. Or, or you just don't find out at all. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah. oh, fuck. I really think that resonates because also a lot of people are getting used to they what are you gonna give me? They feel entitled. Like I want free shit. But I'm not gonna go and be there. You're not gonna get I was thinking about that. What do we get for having you on the show? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there will be pizza. Okay. <laughs> hey, but we're no, getting that, no, but are we getting race. but are yeah. we getting full slices or are we getting like pizza party slices? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're cutting it into squares. <laughs> no, we're doing we're doing the school lunch, yeah, the squares. squares. I'll take them. All right, yeah, yeah. we're in. We're Crisp, in crispy pizzas, yes. Then in crispy With corn. So, I, mean, I think that, and that's another set set indictment <laughs> of where we're in right now, where people are like, oh, "Hey, they're gonna give away free school supplies." Yeah. Like, bring everybody again and change <laughs> your clothes. Like, 
How many times do you have to keep getting free shit when you're a Grupo Frontera? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, and then I'll admit, I, everybody's struggling. Like, fuck, mm-hmm. the prices and inflation and everything. To where even if you're middle class, you're getting squeezed. And oh. again, I'm for the people. So, like, we got to fix that. We, and, But we, we also can't be mad. It's like something I always express to like family members sometimes when they're like, well, there's, you know, people who don't work and they're on welfare and they get blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, but they also don't have shit. So yeah. do you want to be them or do you want to still live where you live and have the things you have? Does it suck? Totally. But you don't want to necessarily play the like, let's switch game. So like we need to help around the cross the board. And I think too, cause there's a disconnect, right? Mm-hmm. And I just saw, I, was it district one or district three where like our- Shout council- out to district five. <laughs> our, our councilman uh, who is on the city council is also a full-time public school teacher, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And like decided, like I, I, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep teaching because I still need to be connected to my community to know what they need, right? right. It's either district wow. one or district three. It's, I think it's, it's on the east side. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, I don't and remember. And I forget his name, but yeah. like, that's the thing. Like we need politicians that are also of the communities and still right. connected to the communities yeah. and come to places like South Town 101, you know, but <clears throat> don't just go to fucking, I don't know. What and businesses happens. back in the hood. Like, yeah, where do people in the hood go get a job? Like, usually they got to commute hood. all the way to fucking 1604 and 281. True. Fucking Toyota all the way. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. South Austin is what yeah. it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Kelly Air Force Base was like big for the West Side forever. And then it was gone. And now what do we have? Like, Techport. Shout yeah, yeah. Well, no, tech uh, that's port, what I was going to say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out tech port. And now that's starting to come through, and now you're starting to see the neighborhood change. And so, but you see that transition happening. Mm-hmm. And there's yeah. parts of San Antonio that it's gotten worse. Exactly. And it's like people, I, I'm, I grew up in the South Side. Mm-hmm. Um, and I see it now, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Like it's gotten that bad. Time. The people that are still there, mm-hmm. my props to them. I mean, I know I have a lot of shout out to Jen Chavaria, my barber on the south side. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. I drive 30 minutes for that bar. I mean, I'm, I'm rocking my old high school, South Sand Bobcats. Like, yeah, yeah. They ain't worth the shit right now, but they never that's have. Another anyway. well, they've been on a 17 year They never have. Street. So, anyway, bro, that's another bro, topic. Bro, we beat them. We went two and eight that year in my high school. I, was, so. I don't want to brag about it. You beat South Sand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, them in Fox Tech with Fox Tech with He also own, beat like, uh, Greg Abbott in a foot race. <laughs> <laughs> No, he actually beat me on that too. Ah, shit. <laughs> he, he got up. He, he got. He got up and left. He literally well, got up. And literally, left. Uh-huh. he threw his look at me. So, what I'm trying to get at is that there's parts of the, of San Antonio that really embraces it, and they, you know, they really say, "I'm I'm here for the long haul." Mm-hmm. And then there's parts where we've had a councilman that put up this god awful. Oh, the little by that, South Park Mall. That dumb. I know shit what you're talking about. That that art Lock, installation by uh, iron, Cruz Ortiz, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing against the artists. No, 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 sure, no, sure, no sure. fuck the artists. <laughs> I'll say it, fuck Cruz Ortiz. I, mm-hmm. So people have said that. I have heard that. No, 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 they have written it. Bro, bro, speak, the, speak your truth. I was gonna say from the bullshit that I've heard behind the scenes from some people that they got in trouble with him. That's why he left town. So fuck mm-hmm. him. But also don't fuck him. Yeah, but yes. don't fuck I mean, him. Oh, no. if you want, that's on you. Like, uh, <laughs> no, no, but no, 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 that no. art installation, that big crooked rocket. Yeah, because it, yeah. so I yeah. found, I also <laughs> found out that he got a a, a big grant mm-hmm. given back to the community so they can re reinvest in mm-hmm. your hood. And he gave some to a bar that well mm-hmm. used to be a bar. It's like an office now building. Sure. Uh, shout out to Gray Eagle. Uh, but then he gave money to a building behind it. And that ended up being busted for eight liners. Mm. So it was like, why, why we? Who, who, who? Yeah, it's it's stupid as shit. Mm-hmm. But it's the sad indictment of, of where the wrong politicians sure. with power and have money, they fucking waste it all. And yeah. keep in mind too, there's a lot of people moving here yes. from all over, and and and, and we have to be careful about that because. The Tuono Cultura is going to change yes, if is. we don't hold it down. It already is. It, it notice, already is. You notice the restaurants. There's, yep. there's a lot of California style restaurants, oh, yeah. food trucks, a, a lot, lot of a, uh, a lot of different stuff. What are they called? Those the little mix ones where it's like, oh, it's Korean oh, and Mexican. Fusion. 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 Oh yeah, nothing wrong Fusion. with it, but but yeah, it's starting to it's uh, starting to take over. Eric said the way. problem too is that San Antonio doesn't engage when it comes to politics, but for sports they will. Yeah, again, I'm telling you, they're they're not not for I'm telling you shit. get us get Dak Prescott to promote Techport and everybody will be there. This <laughs> yeah, is yeah. where I stay when I come to San okay, Antonio. Okay, for two on sports. <laughs> Bro, you know half of San Antonio will show up if Dak Prescott was just going to fart in the tech center, You're everybody right. would be there. They'd right. be there lined up to you smell put, it. You put voting at Cowboy Breakfast, it'll change. <laughs> oh, free tacos. Oh, See what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You give them free shit, they'll be there. Right. 
I, I know that. I'd be there. I, know I'd be, I was there without voting. Why, 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 yeah. why do you think we go to the board, Sugar Cowboys breakfast? I know school board fucking races where they would give out 20s. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean $20 bills. I mean 20, oh. 20, 20. Yeah, yeah. 20s. Yeah. I mean, 20. You know, a, a higher education. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> get high, get high scores. So I, I just, I don't, I don't. I don't feel good about it because it's it's dark city like we're, it's like we want to take but i back. think i think podcasts like y'all are important and and not just it, it's, it's also just like no, san antonio centric media man specific yeah us. y'all are at the top of the pile right. Thank you. um it, san antonio media is starting to break out into other cities where people are starting to look at us and understand us because i think that was always the weird thing where just people didn't understand it because we are maybe the biggest bi ethnic city in the country yeah. and like anyone not from here think they're just in fucking Mexico. And like, they're like, no, motherfucker, we got McDonald's too. In case. Pull, up, pull, up to the, pull up to the medical center and see how many hookah bars. Are exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like anything and you want, we got. restaurants. Okay. Side note. We just went to an Indian buffet. Oh, okay. yeah. Which one? Which one? Good. What's it called? Bombay. No. Or do you remember where it was at? It's down, it's down on fucking Blanco and West Avenue. Oh, I don't know. But no, we it's have some India amazing. Oven or something yeah. Yeah. Like that. We have some amazing Indian buffets. I, I oh my gosh, it was delicious. I do have oh, to yeah. say, I'm I'm low key just a little bit salty because just like a block from my house was like a Michoacan mercado, uh-huh. and then it got turned into an Indian supermarket, and I'm a little sad. I'm happy mm-hmm. that we have it, but I'm like, but where's my meat market? <laughs> yeah, I, need I want my that. Product. I want that red meat. Yeah, hey, can anybody explain it? that why Michoacan's meats dyed red? red so they they, uh, they season it and marinate it, pre marinated. Uh-huh. So you okay, ain't got to do it all so day. So, like, y'all notice that the fiestas are turning into, like, the poco locos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, La Fiesta? Yeah. La Fiesta is becoming... The fiestas are... The closest one we have are in Austin. You know what we're talking about, Jimmy? No, okay, no, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a really cool guy, though. Fiesta, like the, 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 the super meat market. Yeah, yeah. The super, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. poco locos. Houston. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, they're really big over there in Houston. Yeah, yeah. Little it's town. Fiestas are different than La Fiesta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. La fiesta. La fiesta. Now, yeah. Mm. Well, we stopped at one when we were going driving back to Dallas, and like they're pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Poco loco. They have like a bunch of good shit. Does and, uh, like, Miguel come out and start singing when you walk in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how that happened or what, but you know, I just thought about that right now, and I thought it was I'm funny. here for independent, you know, grocery stores, but also don't fuck with my HEB. <laughs> yeah, they hold it down. They held us down in the freeze. Yeah. I love it. Wow. <laughs> no, this is the best He's thing. Like legally, it's supposed to say that the supermercado <laughs> on uh, Culebra is great. Uh, if, okay, if you go to Houston, go to Mi Tienda. Okay. If you mm-hmm. think oh, Fiesta tienda. or Poco Loco, Mi Tienda is a Hispanic HEB on steroids. Yeah. So plus two shots of tequila. Yeah. <laughs> it's the like best. I'll go to a global. most amazing store in yeah. the world. I'll go to Global. They should have one. This is not a paid ad. <laughs> over 3 g today. I feel bad for you. That's all I knew no. I was in the Valley, all right? That's all that we went to. Oh, yeah. Glo- global Voice. Voice. Global Voice. Okay. It was Global because my grandpa, my grandpa had a, a mini taco truck. So that's where he would go get all, wow. this, all this stuff. The Mintienda has an actual, like, sit down, agua fresca, and they have ice cream. Then it. they have an actual taqueria. They have an actual panaderia and tortilleria combined. Oh, fuck yeah. So it's like, and they have a bakery. Shop, you eat, you drink, <laughs> yeah. have all everything. Of it. All of it. Their seafood is out of this world. I mean, it's just like you're in I hope like not. You I hope it's like, the water. Houston, is it on? <laughs> I can't remember the actual address. I'll get that for you. But there's so many stores out there, but it's just it's the only me can out there. Okay. It's amazing. So if Poco Loco wants to sponsor. Hey. Please. So you're from Houston. No, I'm from Laredo. You're from Laredo. I went from the to Valley. Laredo's not part She's of the Valley. Not part of the Valley. Not part of the Valley. Part, thank the valley. you. No. That's something no. we can establish. No, that's right. I'm joking. <laughs> it's like geographically. According, according part to Drake, of the valley. according to Drake, you're part of the Valley. <laughs> Yeah, no. Drake don't know shit. Yeah, uh, according to Drake, you're. We you're equally get offended, okay? Yeah, yeah. When it's, all like, it's, it's all nine five six. It's all nine five six. It's Mexico. Like, it don't matter. It's all Mexico. In the valleys and in this little spot. Oh yeah, yeah. Since you made it, Pluto. Yeah. Yes, one hundred percent. I grew up on the north side. Yes. So, so what? I, bougie. Yeah. Okay. Bougie? Okay. No. What yeah. makes it bougie? Yes. What makes I've I've only been to Laredo like once. You can drink the water. It was newly developed. Also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can. Wow. <laughs> Slap the fuck out no, of. No, 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 no. That was the thing. So like, I I grew up. I would say solidly like middle middle class. 
um, because my parents, my dad works in customs. He's import export and all that jazz. And so my parents like bought their house yeah. when the area was first being developed. Right. Oh. So it was cheap back then. Mm -hmm. Now that area is really fucking expensive. Right. Mm. Um, but yeah, I grew, I, I grew up on the North side of Laredo. It, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Went to United. And how long have you been here in San Antonio? Now seven years. So seven I did years. grew up in Laredo, went to school in Austin, uh -huh. lived in Houston for like four years and been here for like seven years now. So like okay. when people ask me where I'm from, I just say like Texas, like everywhere, yeah, yeah, Texas, yeah, yeah. everywhere, except Dallas because so how, Dallas. how different was it <laughs> I can say that on this podcast because yeah. our Dallas friends don't listen to yeah 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 no, fuck Dallas no, no, I'm like, listen to what you said. <laughs> all your fucking friends now yeah we're gonna tag you yeah, yeah, yeah right. the clip so yeah. how different was it yeah, living yeah. in Houston <laughs> and here oh huge is it huge the culture is just completely different like yeah. in in Houston it's like hustle 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 always what's in it for me like how can mm -hmm. I get ahead what can right. you do for me here there's like a mentality of like yeah, I want to do good, but I also want tomorrow. to chill. <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. tomorrow, I also want to chill. You That's know? my motto. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and I was like, not today. I just ate. Like, but tomorrow, <laughs> like, me. and there's nothing wrong with that. Seven, yeah, it, it's easy. You know, like San Antonio is an easy place to live. It's an easy place to have a good time. You know, it's a great place. To, like, San Antonio is the biggest small town you'll ever live in, right? Oh, yeah. You know, which is why, like, growing up in Laredo, I was like, I never want to live in San Antonio because it just feels like 20 Laredos all crammed together, and it is. But you know, I was so excited to that. move up here. I've been here for like a little you over come from, 10 years. Cameron? No, real grand city, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, when I came up here, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm in a big city. Like, nobody knows me, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, as the years went on, they're like, oh, I, I know you because of so-and-so sister's boyfriend's cousin's yeah. friend went to work, like, work with you or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> no, when I first moved here, like, within the first week, I'm just, like, walking through Nordstrom Mall because I used to work in retail. Um, walking through Nordstrom Mall. And someone's like, hey, Chibi. And I was like. Hi, <laughs> I know your mother. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's like, Tony, what jump sheet? I don't know. I also, yeah, I don't know what dick. <laughs> okay. Hi. She got to grab my dick. <laughs> she said, oh, my hand hurts. I just need a handful of that dick. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Shout out to Virginia. Wow. OG Thotty. Yeah. What was it? OG yeah. Thotty. So, yeah. Old Thotty. Old Thotty next door. Door, yeah. Story. yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy how small town this city feels. Yeah. I think it's even funnier, like, as long as we've been doing it, like the other day I went to Peter Piper's and like I was getting in my car and all I hear is, hey, so what's your favorite food truck you've done so far? And I'm like, the fuck? I was like, uh, huh? He's like, yeah, man, I watch your videos. Like, oh, okay, cool. And they're like, my sister had left in her car. And then we went to the other store and she's like, who is that? I was like, oh, I'm be the hell out of me. I was just like okay. walking into my car. And they were asking what's my favorite food truck. So I answered the question. I was like, I don't know who it was. Right. And they're like, well, keep up the good work, man. I watch all your videos. I'm a big fan. I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, no idea. Shout out to the unknown bench. <laughs> yeah. The secret in fire. Yeah. I was like, which, which, it never, which it never She's failed. She's the old thought No, it was a guy. Oh, yeah. Was a guy. <laughs> but I'm never going to always forget that Would you time. you be the giver or the receiver? I was going to say, I never, I'll never forget the time that I went to, um, I'm going to Stilo down the street over here. Shout out to Aaron Pena, right down the street. So I was meeting some girl that I wasn't trying to meet in public, but I was like, all right, fine, I'll meet you because she's out there. I was like, nobody knows me. I'm cool. I walk in the bouncer's all, oh, it's G for 210 culture. I was like, shh, don't say it so loud, dude. Like, shh. He's like, oh, dude, I love your stuff. He's like, hey, look, this guy does food for me. So it's like everybody in the line. I'm like, dude, please, I'm not trying to be seen today, yeah. but okay. And I'm just like, well, that's what I signed up for, I guess. Yeah, that's God so punishing I'm, you. So now, I'm not, so now I'm not allowed to go out in public anymore when I don't want to be seen. <laughs> just, wear, just wear the green screen, dude. <laughs> The, whole face. You know, the, the classic Marvel disguise, just the black baseball yes. yeah, yeah. Nobody knows who you are. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, my family is, uh, my dad was in the military, so we moved around a lot when I was a kid. Like, I grew up in Hawaii and Panama. And... Hi, wow, sorry. No, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, yeah, well, and then, and then. Uh, we just yeah. grew up at the dirty south. Colleen, the Colleen for Hood area for like, like eight years, ten oh years. God. Uh, but then I want to say like 20 years ago, I, I moved back and, uh, I mean, my whole family is still here. My Did you say Fort Hood, Killeen area? Mm -hmm. Okay. So knowing what you know now about that place, yeah, yeah. like, what do you, I mean, it's, it's what everyone says it is. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Like real shit. And yeah. I love it. And I fuck, it's not, you love it, oh man. yeah, no, like, it's like, you don't, you know, what's funny sometimes is you don't realize you learn hood rat shit <laughs> until you're around other people. And then you're like, oh fuck, I am a hood rat. Like he'll tell me all the time. <laughs> Like I'll never forget one time I was at this 
<laughs> yeah, like, like, no, I was, I was at this one, like, this, like, show in Little Rock, Arkansas, and they had, like, this kind of after party thing on this bridge across the, the Mississippi or Arkansas River. I don't know which fucking river. And, like, all these people were there and they're having a good time and stuff. And I'm like, well, shit, I'm going to go get, like, 240s and we're outside. <laughs> and so I'm just there drinking 40, smoking a cigarette. And this other homie from San, San Antonio was like, man, fool, you look fucking like West Side as fuck right now. I'm like, I am West Side as fuck. <laughs> He's like, well, I meant like, you know, like, you know, kind of like chill, but kind of ghetto. I'm like, I am chill and ghetto. 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 <laughs> like, you you know, like, what's going on? Yeah. And like, so, so like that, like even there in that time, like it was yeah. just a different type of like ghetto, but like, I loved it. You know, you're just there and you don't think anything's weird until you leave and yes. people will look at you like, oh, you were okay. in Colleen. You're like, mm. yeah, like I went to middle school there, high school. Like, <laughs> like, like we're like, like people oh, got beat up. Oh, like, no. yeah, like. Yeah, it was just like, but, you know, but yeah, it's the I same thing. Every day. Yeah, oh, but, it's like, but it's like people say that about like, because I live off like 90 and McMullen mm. and shit. And so, um, so some people, yeah, <laughs> some people are like, oh, you, or actually, I don't remember. I just saw like a thing the other day. It was like a, a, a TikToker, you know, a uh, uh, food truck TikToker person. And they were like saying something about the squeeze in off 90 and McMullen. Like, don't go there. And I'm like, shit, I've been there. Like, I don't even know. I, I go there all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not him in the background. Yeah. yeah. Him in the background with the 40. I'm going to say he's in the background with his 40 and a cigarette. Yeah. Like, I mean, so, you, you got a line in one of your poems where it's like, yeah, my neighbor sells drugs. And yeah, 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 he does. And like, he's polite as shit. Yeah, he's, and well, he lets me know with like, hey, man, he got like the cameras around his house. He's like, hey, man, I saw some, like, you got raccoons in your in your casita in the back. Wait. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm like, shit. He, yeah. What area specifically? Yeah, yeah. He's like, he gives me that neighbor discount. Uh, yeah. Hector's looking for the hookup. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, I want to go both. <laughs> what about you? What made you realize? I know you probably have some stories that you're a hood rat, that you realize like, oh, oh shit. he ain't oh, a hood no, rat. Not a hood rat. No. no, no, no. I'm not a hood rat. He's I'm hood rat adjacent. I'm not a hood rat. I, 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 I was punk rock. That yeah. was my, my like high school, college era was like punk rock. Fuck the system. Or even in college, you know, like I, I hung out. I went to college in Austin. I hung out with, you know, what they called the drag rats, like yeah. all the homeless people that just lived on the drag. <laughs> we would go to Seven Eleven. We'd get one of those like giant like uh, like slurpy slurpy or, things. Yeah. Buy, buy a four loco and buy a forty and just pour them in there and then just walk around Love just drink that. it in public. Yeah. Called it a sidewalk slam. Like you know, like I did a lot of drugs in college. <laughs> you know. She's also, it's kind She's of a blur. evolved. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a blur. Yeah. If you come Love up that. to me and you're like, hey, yeah, no. We went to college together. I'm like, we probably no, we did. Yeah, yeah, no, I think no. Like, you went to college with me. Yeah. I didn't go to college. I still graduated. Yeah, Thank you very much. yeah there you I go. That's all that he's all, yeah. he's, he's all the drug me was very smart. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, the drugged out me still managed to like get his homework done. Uh, but that was that was my early years, and then I went to rehab and reformed, and yeah. uh, now I just drink a lot. Uh, but you know, got a corporate job in retail. And, Ooh, you know, there you go. Was living the fancy life. Now I work for a nonprofit. It's not as fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's you still said a that, good life. Is that where the community organizer? Yeah, is part it, part okay. of it, and in the poetry world. So okay. like, what got me my job here? I now work in the tech industry. Yeah. Was because of like the 15 years of community organizing that I did in the poetry oh, world. Okay. And I was like, I know, I know I didn't get paid for that shit, but that's just going on my resume. Okay, right. yeah. that's real ass yeah. work yeah. experience, and got me this job. Uh, and it's fucking fantastic. I work with queer people in the tech industry and just yeah. trying to help them find jobs and build their oh, networks and that's cool. you know elevate their careers. Like we do good work. We do good work. Right. So, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So, you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just like me. <laughs> so yeah, not, not hood rat. Uh, reformed okay. punk rocker. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I'm a mixture of everything, right? Like I'm an emo kid, but like I'm also mm. hood rat as fuck. You so. had the hair. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I did. I did. <laughs> Me too. I did. Me too. They're, those photos I actually, are still you on remember, Facebook. Y'all remember Photo Bucket? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so like I had to, <laughs> I had to re like, uh, pay for my account because it's like five dollars, uh -huh. and they're like. They we're gonna delete all your pictures. I was like, well, hell no, because I was like my fucking emo era. So I have to keep these fucking pictures. They deactivated my course. account and they keep they? emailing me, being like, We've deactivated your account. Are you sure you want right. us to deactivate? I'm like, Yeah, bitch, that's why I'm not responding. <laughs> Fuck I'm off. very sad that I deleted my MySpace because that had like the cringiest fucking photos oh, of yeah. me. So that would have been great. But anyways, I looked into it and of course my username is like awesome underscore bananas. And I was like, <laughs> I don't even know why the fuck. Uh -huh. Anyways, I download these <laughs> <laughs> I download these fucking pictures and they're like <laughs> that's like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
it's just my, like that. My Mesmerizing. E- my email address back in the day was I am Jax Colon 87. <laughs> Shout out to Fight Club. <laughs> Shout out to Fight Club. We were talking about that. I was talking about that with Fro. Shout out to Fro at uh, we were at Tech Court that we were we walked into like the land area where you can play the games. And I was like, damn, this reminds me back in like middle school when we were like in a uh I think it was just supposed to be like some tech. It was some computer class. And instead, we all were just playing Halo because somebody yeah. had like a boule copy. And we were all just playing class. <laughs> and it got so bad that I guess uh, her boss or the principal walked in one day and we were all playing. So like she yelled at all of us. And then she was like, all of y'all got me in trouble because I wasn't teaching you or playing the uh-huh. games. She's like, so this is what we're going to do. And we're like, oh, fuck, we're in trouble. She's like, so you're going to take all the computers because it was like a U shape. So like you see the door. So you're going to take them and we're all going to face the computers against the wall. So when you look through the door, you can't see. <laughs> there you go. So we moved into there for like a week. She's like, none of y'all are allowed to play games. You got to do these assignments. And after yeah. we, she's like, okay, do what y'all want or whatever. Yeah. But we already had everything turned out. She's like, if anybody ever comes in, you exit out what you're doing and you better have headphones yeah. on. And we're like, all right, cool, whatever. So I walked in, I was like, man, this is just like back in middle school, but I have to pay now. Yeah, no, for us, it was uh, Alien versus Predators. That was the big one. That was a good game. Yeah, and we would play that during keyboarding class, just be like, all right, got my work done. That's it. like, I play with rocks. What did you play with? We threw rocks at rocks. No, you had the Oregon Trail. Bro, we had checkers. No, you rocks. the guy who messed the computer. You motherfucking things, I'm a fucking... Fred Flintstone, you play with rats yeah. and chase the dinosaur. He's the like, he's here. like my favorite eight track is. <laughs> Back in my day, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, practically. Yeah, and also shout out to MySpace for teaching an entire generation of kids how to code. Okay, yes. we that learned HTML. So my profile was always tipping. like it was always good. Were you the kind of profile where, like, as soon as you like went to your profile, like music just Hell started yeah. blaring? I had my playlist. I had my fuck. Okay, fucking what songs do y'all? I was like, God damn, where are you coming from? I need people to know that I'm really into Bullet for my Valentine right now. How do I turn that shit off? I need this Joker bobblehead so people know I'm edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the girls girls I knew had Chris Brown or Bow Wow photos. Like, when we load up, like, the background was just Chris Brown and Bow Wow. Oh. And it was like one of their songs playing and same thing. I was like, nope, nope. Where do I fucking turn You've never had a MySpace profile? Never? Ever? That was before his time. <laughs> That's you he, he, was, he was like, she was like, you got my space. Nobody come to my place. That's right. Aww, <laughs> he really did use Damn, that. Line. I was looking for it too. You found it. You found it. <laughs> that was good. So, have y'all had guests on, like, on your podcast? <laughs> No. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Oh, we had Quentin what, Tarantino. What he had said earlier Jackie he Chan popped a up once. Like, well, you, well, you asked how you, yeah, he was a great how you guess. qualify for a guest. We, oh, yeah, like, no. Like, it's, it's just oh, like, well, I don't know. Maybe they're going to start. No, I yeah. Like, like we, they we, barely we just to, started. Yeah. We had The Rock. Ago, so, wow. Look at that. We call him Dwayne. You know, we're close with Dwayne. So. Yeah, Dwayne uh, comes by every shout now. Shout out and then. to Art. He says, "Why is Hector so quiet?" Hello. Oh, yeah, because he's not speaking into the quiet? microphone. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> my producer, my producer self is like screaming on the inside every time that Hector's like, "Yeah, so what I was doing?" Was- <laughs> <laughs> the microphone, Hector. Art, I've been censored. <laughs> That's right. Now, usually, look- <laughs> free, free Hector. There you go. Um, uh, also, shout out to Jose, who's in a cabin in the woods right now oh. for a bachelor party for his friend in Tennessee. Months. Damn, playing he's, with play, he's playing so, with rock. But the funny part of all of it is, the the funny yeah. part is that he's the only Mexican there or Latino. That's he's not scary. Mexican. He's Venezuelan. So he I told him I was like, "Is everybody wearing like matching like t shirts? Did you have like a maid outfit or something?" And he's like, "No." We're all wearing white hoods. So if he's not, if what he's not, like, or, or, Honestly, you, know, you remember you? that Ice T movie, uh, Surviving the Game? Where he went out to the cabins with those white dudes thinking they were like hunting big game. And they were like, nah, no, fam, we get we're hunting you. you. Yeah. yeah. That movie well, made it? me never yeah. want to go out like on hunting trips. I was say, what would y'all do? Or most of the woods, really. My I favorite. First of all, Blair Witch. Never be, yeah, never Blair be Witch. There. I ain't fucking going. Favorite, this is why all those look, I don't know. are with white kids. Right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> People of color are like, you want me to do the fuck what? No, thank you. I'm going to stay my ass home. My favorite. My favorite. Mo- like horror forest movie is Cabin in the Woods. It's a good one. Like I love the part I when they're like, I love the part. Well, I don't want to ruin it now for you, but no, ruin it. I li- I like it's his part- fault. Ruin that <laughs> fucking movie. 
I like that part where they're like earmuffs, down, earmuffs. I like that part when they're down at the bottom and they're yeah. showing like all the monsters and there's the sign and it says like angry raping trees. Yeah. Oh wow. And then like later in the movie, you see the tree like grab somebody and like there's the up. angry raping tree Again. and the mermaids Again. and yeah, all people that of color. Have you seen a good movie? Shit, like, so it's like I'm this, not going you ever there. seen it? No. So, are like, you like a horror dude? Like, so they're in like a cabin are you in the woods. Movie? Yeah, but that, are you a whore? That, that really scared no, that's that's a really good ass movie. Actually, I live in the fucking woods. Oh. Yeah. So like it's a cabin in the woods. That's why I never want to go to your place. <laughs> so it's like cabin in the woods, but you find out towards the end of the movie that it's like a, I guess what like a stage uh, house. It's like it's yeah, it's like you know all the cabin in the mo- woods movies where all teens are there folks. and they get murdered. It's like this movie is like well, what if there was a reason behind that? Yeah, and, and then it goes way different than what you thought. Yeah, so like at the bottom they have like all the different bad stuff that can happen, and they release it on the people that are in the house. It's like a so, Hunger Games sort of shit, where it's like now release yeah. the wasps. Yeah. So like they have like a list of the board like, of different stuff, and it's like the strangers, cla- uh, sad killer clowns, Jason like, Voorhees type stuff, shit, yeah. killer bees, mm. it, but then there's stupid stuff like angry, horny, raping trees and stuff, <laughs> and like they're locked. So like at Giant the end of the movie, snake, killer robots. So like at the end of the movie, the oh, main man. guy like. They end up hitting the button and all these things escape and start like yeah. killing the guy. If I were to make a scary movie, instead of all that shit, I'd put like paying child support, uh, <laughs> paying fees on Stop. a fucking late ticket, see, 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 this paying is, probation. See, the episode's gone full circle now. Now he's just writing books for Mr. Mills. Uh. <laughs> Do you have horny raping trees in your fucking <laughs> side of the woods? <laughs> Poco Loco is not going to sponsor this pod. <laughs> That's all. all right, I guess this is a good time to tell y'all that this episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. Make sure you use 210 culture to get zero, 0% off. Zero. Did I ever get them? Oh, absolutely not. I'm not going back to that fucking apartment complex. <laughs> but we got light, baby. We we got light. You know what I mean? I paid the bill. Right, how did you feel when you found out you, she hadn't paid the light and y'all were going to be disconnected with candles? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Somebody didn't watch Breaking the episode news. last week. Oh. Oh, there I was in the cabin. In the woods. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never so mind. I actually found that that list from the movie, so I'm just gonna read some of them. Jesus. So you have zombies. Yep. Mutants. Yep. Alien beast. Oh, there. Sorry, there were angry, angry molesting trees. Ah. Oh, even better. Uh, no. demons, Loco just came back. <laughs> sexy witches. <It's> the bastard. <laughs> giant snakes. Kevin, it just says Kevin. Uh, d- <laughs> digital analysis. The angry ballistic trees is the past. Oh no, they're the ones betting on it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's a different department. Uh, vampires, dismemberment goblins, oh. sugar plum fairies, oh. mermans, mermans, uh, sasquatch. The mermans go hard because those are the angry okay. raping ones. Bro, and, uh, they go. <laughs> am I with that merman? Am I? Yeah, but, and you're like, and that's like the joke. Like, what to? would they really do? But then when they get down. The mermans get down. get down. And then my personal favorite, the zombie redneck yeah. torture family. Do yeah. mermans have dicks? I would assume uh, so. I mean, yeah. I did, would you, say did you so. watch The Shape of Water? No. Yeah, he had a dick. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a dick. Did he really? Yeah, he got, he, he got down. He fucked what? up. Yeah. Right? And it's all twisted and shit. Oh, oh yeah. okay. It's yeah, yeah. ribbed for her pleasure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a speedo. Yeah. <laughs> It's a shout papa. out to uh, it was Guillermo, del Guillermo del Toro. Toro yeah. Shout out to Guillermo so del shout Toro. Out. Always welcome on the pod. Wow. So shout out to everybody who's watching this live because this is not going to make re-air after this. So you're never going to see this episode again. <laughs> Just going to have to uh, throw it away. Whoa, Whoa. fuck. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over. There goes my uh, pair of thieves. Sponsorship. I mean, we on our pod, we were pretty sure there were there were multiple episodes where we were going to get canceled. Like someone was going to get severely oh offended. And it's like it's this is the, the tequila. Like that's this the, that's the don't hold your talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, that's why it's like we'll do three hours of drunk talk and then like he'll put it out. And I'm like, why is it only like 45 minutes? You're like, you know why? <laughs> it's only 45 minutes. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, we did have that whole Dallas has the best hose conversation. Yeah. That's right. And that's we not going on the like, Oh, I yeah. need to be a part of that conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Is well, there research you. to back up those claims? Uh, there are yeah. There's it's, variances. Okay. It's called okay. Instagram. Not data. Not me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Collected data. Um, yeah, yeah. Collected right. You know, okay. Yeah. That, okay. I, I I need to look further into this Somebody collected call Paul. data. <laughs> Shout out to Paul, uh, a yeah. friend of the pod. Has his own pod called The World According to Paul. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. But yeah, that's that's just it. We just have friends and we just do the kind of same shit. We just talk shit. Yeah. But my, 
Yeah. My favorite episode was where, like, we, as friends, we decided to, like, rent an Airbnb out in fucking where, Johnson City, I think we were. Yeah. And it was, we were supposed to pod, and I was like, I'm bringing the equipment. We fucking potted, and this one was pissed as fuck, because it was like, we're, we're on, on vacation, vacation, man. And I was like, no, we got Every Sometimes day, those are the best conversations. Yes, yeah. no, and that's why there were like eight, seven of us. Yeah. And I, of us. that was the other problem. I'm like, there's eight motherfuckers talking at the same time. And the thing is, most of our friends don't drink the way I drink. Yeah. Mm. This one kind of drinks the way I drink these days, but on occasion. Uh, and so like seeing them like keep up with us and then just fucking get wasted. Like the conversation went everywhere. We were laughing for like a whole hour and a half. Tumblr entered the pod. It was chaos. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, ghetto, ghetto Twitter, ghetto Twitter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, it's it's good times. We bring on our friends and sometimes like if we know that we're going to talk about something, uh, we'll bring on like a specific person. It's like, oh, you got shit to say about this topic, right? right? Yeah. So shout out to like our dusty Mexican uh, JR Styler. Styler, who's always there when we're talking about dusty Mexican stuff. You know, okay. yeah. so. El Paso represent. Exactly. Dusty Mexican. Oh. Hey, as a matter of fact, they're in a different part of it. Yeah, El Paso. Yeah. 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 They're not part of it. Lucky them. They're like they're on that like They're on the they're on they're on the powdered grid. Me and and me and my boyfriend had a conversation about El Paso, and we're like, who the fuck, who the fuck has ever said that they wanted a vacation at El Paso? Like, who the fuck has ever said I want to go? I love El Paso. Paso. Like, it's there. Well, you know, I know who wants a vacation there. Apparently, mountain people. Like, because apparently they got mountains. I like I'm not a mountain what? person, so I'm not going. Mountain people, and it's like beautiful. Like it's yeah. like because like what when we think of fuck? Texas, we don't really think of mountains, Y'all but keep that's where they're shit at. From us then? The, the mountains because are really cute. I've been to like, like so nothing. Like, I'm yeah. like I don't yeah. fucking the go there. But also like mountain people sounds like it should be on that list. Want to be around mountains? So, oh my God. so do y'all know why Oklahoma has the Panhandle part? Yeah, it's yeah. racism. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Mountain people. You Same reason how, why marijuana you know, is illegal, man. How, Racism. You know how Oklahoma has that little stretch that looks like the hand, the handle. So what it was was back during the Civil War, there was that certain degree. I forget what the degree. It's is. Uh, yeah, the latitude. Or yeah, something. there was a line Dixon that line. if you were above that line, um, I think it was slavery it was, was illegal. It was illegal, and if you're under the line, slavery is legal. Well, Texas was a slavery state, so they were like. Fuck it, we don't need that piece of line here. You can have it. Yeah, that's why Oklahoma is like yes. should be a square, but it has. A little yeah, that's why it has that little handle. That, that would have been Texas. Yeah, yeah, just was, because because of that line. It was the Mason Dixon line up there. <laughs> well, yeah. yes, but at the time Texas was like, give up some land or give up the slaves. Fuck it, you can have the land. Wow. Yeah, well, after they took all the rest from fucking Mexico. the natives <laughs> and the natives. Yeah, they were but that right. is, that is the reason why we don't have that little chunk. I, I think that we need that. That's interesting. Wow. Yes. Same with but, that's why marijuana is legal. The more you know. Same shit. Yeah. Message. <laughs> exactly. Oh, on there? No, I want. I, I I love to go to El Paso. I have friends from there. There's some businesses I want to go and deal with over there. It's yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. city. Nine one five. I mean, that vacation where I'm gonna spend the whole week there. Yeah, but. On the way up there, more for life. Yeah, but you have family, like somebody that doesn't like me. Why the fuck would I want to go? Oh yeah, because it's on the way out. Or or, <laughs> or you know what? <laughs> if if you were going like like just west, like to go to like Albuquerque and right. uh, yeah, like it's yeah. a it's a good place to stop. No, I know, but like leisurely to be like. No, yeah, I stay there. Go to stay there for like two three days. Yeah. Mountain people. Yeah, yeah. mountain yes, people. Yes, and good, it, good, good yeah, food. they there's they say there's good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strip club? I don't know. No. 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 Okay. You don't, you know you don't have any go, reviews you, of this. He away. said, yeah, right? Strip club? El I'm Paso sorry, strip what? club? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> there's a reason why, another there's conversation, a reason, there's a reason okay? why he learned the, the, the nickname Nasty. You know you know why people go to vacation in El, in El Paso? So they can cross over to Las Cruces, get some oh, legal perfect. weed, yeah, and, and come then back. come back. There you go. Yeah. That, that's not, that makes more sense. Yeah. Well, shout out to El Paso. <laughs> Message. <laughs> Go on. All right, I think we hit the hour because I can't keep time with this Instagram, Facebook one. That's 58 oh, minutes and 26 seconds. Okay, well, then we'll right, someone say something for two minutes. <laughs> Go. Two <laughs> minutes. Cuando yo era un niño. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> You gotta get do that. A fucking sacrifice. No, no, no. She paid the, the bill. She paid, I the, paid bill. the light bill. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you were... It was getting repo, baby. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> they offer payment plans, okay? <laughs> I don't right, by the way, we still need that money back in our 210 Bidet account. So, like, 
You gotta oh, get back my, to work. My, no, more like y'all better get back to work and add this dude since he has a bidet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, it, it's our only fan page where we make money for the exclusive content instead of Patreon because only fans to make money. So it's just Hector sitting on a bidet. Well, I'm actually reading the poem. <laughs> reading those books. You're reading the old thought next door. That's the next That's episode. Right. That's yeah, right. So yeah. there was Frank Quisha. Yeah, yeah. And her sister Aquanetta. Yeah. And then and then in the back and then in the back you just hear that oh wait so, oh, of the bidet. Well, right. Hector so, always asks the question, but I'll ask it. So so when you use your bidet, do you get butt ass naked to use the bidet? What do you mean, butt ass naked? Like, like take he- off your shirt? No, like, yeah, Hector takes off like all No, his that's clothes. a shower, fool. Like, what are you talking about? That's not a bidet. He takes off all his clothes to use a bidet. No, so no, I just, I just sit a, down, I take a shit. Like a and then sauna? I turn it off. Like, okay, so I, I take off all my clothes because I don't You want have to an my experience, clothes. my guy. Oh, no, and that's cool. Like, no, 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 but, well, no that's, shame. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing. Like, I like to be in Would it be that way also if it wasn't a bidet? No. Okay. Yeah, no. I don't know. Some people no, well, take if, gnarly if this, shits and they're just like, fuck it. I need okay, to actually so breathe. That's the, the thing. I only shit in my house. Yeah, yeah. So I take Oh, you don't do public clothes. shits? No. No, that's fine. Some people don't. No, I, I don't. But I, I'm I pro public the, shit. I, I do the bidet because I take off all my clothes. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Blow up your <laughs> shit yeah, wherever I'm your at. bidet is spraying water <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's like a flash dance situation. He just like drops it out the ceiling. What I'm saying is, while I get hot in here, it's playing at the same time. No, what I'm saying is, I don't want to get up. From using it and sure. then grip on my clothes, so uh-huh. I just rather avoid that. Uh-huh. So, oh, but I also turn it, turn You turn it off and then you pat yourself dry and then you get up. Oh, I don't pat myself dry because I turn around Hair and straddle dry. it, uh-huh. and I get the dingleberries in the front, uh-huh. and I like kind of teabag it. It's a whole, yeah, it's a whole You're having a operation whole situation. Oh, there, well, I'm, no, but, I'm not. Yeah, that's my, that's that's, that's the why, level that's, of my that's, that's why he's not allowed that's to That's why, yo, up. you the extra cleanest in this goddamn room. And oh, salute, I'll, I'll be damned if I smell like culo. Salute I'll be you, Hector. No, but that's why you just gotta like swing Bam. it back and forth. Oh, I'm like back fucking forth. bubble bath. Burn Ernie, that episode <laughs> with the rubber yeah, ducky. Yeah, yeah. His, his theme song is the Undertaker's theme song because it takes just as long. <laughs> but, like, dude, if I it's take like a shit, it's it's like a like a three part episode. You got? Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like it's like it's like when you get your oil changed. It's yeah. like a five point yeah, inspection. Like, yeah, yeah. You gotta make. You gotta check the the dipstick. Well, I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking yeah, at my yeah. phone. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's like the Undertaker at the end too. He's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the yeah, lights slowly. Too much fun no, I, no, I'm no, 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 I'm feeling, I'm feeling too, like shit because I'm like, I'm still free. using. I still like on paper, shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on regular paper, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is no, bro, extra strong, extra strong. No, I, I know you've been bidet gang for a minute, man. No, 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 no. Like, no, 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 no. You are talking to a what? queer man, okay? No, no, we keep that shit clean on the regular. What I'm saying is, look at his build and look. Oh, I thought he said bills. I was like, what's the no, fuck no, got to no, do with bills. anything? <laughs> what he's saying is there's it's a lot more like, there's that, crevices. Can get, that can yes. get stuck There's crevices. In, he's, he's, he's I clean, understand. I, he's streamlined yeah. like a porpoise. Yeah. Mine's more like fucking tremor. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. On a fucking bender. Yeah. With fucking so, burritos with and all cups. Yeah. <laughs> With extra fucking hot sauce yeah, and yeah. Hot With, yeah, Eddie's Taco House. With a couple <laughs> of Grizzlies at three in the morning. Nothing against Eddie's Taco's house, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, so, um... <laughs> no, because this is the thing. Everybody, like, I'm stealing this from a comedian. I can't... Uh, take credit for it but everybody's exactly. like it's okay yeah everybody's like wow mexicans have such strong stomachs right it's like no we don't have strong stomachs we, we strong just toilet. all have ibs and we think that shit's normal yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking fat <laughs> <laughs> and then you add the drinking on top of it like yeah, yeah, yeah. we're walking uh, beer no shit oh yeah yeah i had a friend that his girlfriend made him switch to whiskey because of the beer farts uh, and she's yeah. like if you still want me to be with you you better like stop but like one day he drank whiskey and like he's all that whole day I was partying, she didn't smell anything, so now I drink whiskey. There you go. After like that's why I just drink straight tequila. after like 13 years of just drinking beer, now he drinks whiskey. That's that's love. That's, that's true love. Co- that's commitment and that's compromise. That's and that's all, the lesson that's, of today's pod. And really. That's also <laughs> alcoholism. <laughs> the more the more you learn. Yeah. But days <laughs> and, and commitment. With that, with that boys and girls. <laughs> and paying light bills. Thank you for pay, tuning. Yeah. Pay your <laughs> I don't have that on the soundboard. Um, I don't, I don't even know oh, that. I would also shout out to Bob Barker. He almost made it. He made it under a dollar. I know that shit's wild. The price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> um, I ain't so- gonna lie. I thought, I, I thought he was dead already. So. <laughs> 
when I saw that, I was just kind of like, ah. Oh, Wait, uh, really? yeah. dude, someone put a picture of Joe Biden and said, Red Sea, please, Bob Parker. <laughs> I lost my shit. Well, I actually well, had to well, go use him a day. Ruined, you, ruined, you kind of ruined my setup for this joke. So, I'm going to say, we're going to take a moment of silence by playing the Price is Right theme song. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a Price is Right theme song. But about you, like, I was on TikTok where they showed like him going to heaven and somebody's like, why are all the Cat spade and neutered down Rainbow Road. <laughs> to the Bob Barker. To the Bob Barker. Shout out to Bob Barker. Uh, Melissa Gonzalez said, Hector, how about a birthday shout out for Ron? My boy Rano, happy birthday. The big 5 0, Pinche Tostonway. Happy birthday. Love you, brother. Tostado. <laughs> um, so, also, I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, we're off next week. So don't oh, tune yeah. in because we're taking the day off because it's Labor Day. So we don't work because we're Mexicans. We're off. <laughs> yeah, we're off next Sunday. <laughs> this is Tuesday, Hector. That's weird. <laughs> I'm joking. Just show up, man. So show we will up. actually be solo pod. So we'll actually be moving to six o'clock instead of seven because football season starting and I'm not missing Sunday night football. Yeah. So um, so we'll be tuned into that. But how can everybody get a hold of you guys? Uh, audio I'm on Instagram, video. just Bruce MTZ, R W O S T M T Z. That's right. And, uh, same Instagram, Gemini's, G E M I N E Y E S. Yeah. Thank you all so much for having us on. We had a blast. We're looking forward once y'all get up and running. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, yes. we'll hit Do you all up and forget tell you about us. Come. We'll bring the St. Maya. St. Maya, hook like, the bottle, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll bring oh, a yeah. St. Maya tequila bottle so y'all can try it. There Fuck we go. It. We're down. For and it. then we all get fucked up. But we appreciate y'all so much. Thank, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks, man. And then do you guys have like an ending, an outro that you guys do together? Ah, uh, what, what? No. no. We, we're gonna, yeah, we're, we're blacked out. Okay, he's like, where, where'd he go? I don't, well, know, do, I don't know. remember. Just, and then <laughs> that's the show. And goodbye. <laughs> and Usually it's just that. Like, where can people find you? Man, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Nobody, I don't want yeah, by, yeah. you. He's all, I, he's all, I'm yeah, on. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what you're on. Yeah, that's right. I, I usually sign off with just like stay safe out there because these streets be wild. And Always, it's wild. They, and yeah, they are. And stay away from somebody took me off the streets. And stay I, away. I was wilding. <laughs> stay away from the old thotty next door. <laughs> stay away from the old thotty next door. I had an old thotty next door. No. <laughs> yeah, and pastor. your pastor. Stay away from your pastor. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you need some some much deserved attention, then yes. go, go to your pastor. And uh, remember that your baby daddy can steal your Ultima as well. I didn't cover that. I didn't cover that one, but that's a new one dropping out soon. So with that being said, I'm G. I'm Donna. Um, you're Hector. And for 210 Culture, bringing the best of 210 Nation.